I don't think it's the cost of a stamp why we don't write letters. I think it's the cost of our time. Yeah, we, we didn't realize that we weren't going to communicate by letter as, as much as we did then. So in that sense, I suppose these letters to themselves are becoming more valuable because they're, they're different. Well, initially I started the exercise because I wanted the students to do an assignment that was different, that would be interesting, and one that they would value. I always get people cards and write little notes and that sort of thing, but when it comes to actually sitting down and writing a 10-page letter, that's, that's a pretty huge commitment. <laughs> I thought it was just a lesson just to pass the time to keep us busy for a few hours while he did other things. Uh, but honestly, the lesson is quite brilliant, actually, and I guess uh, it's, it's looking back and remembering who you were. It was a 10-page letter they had to write to themselves, and it would be returned by me to them in, I suggested, 20 years. I think it just shows how dedicated of a teacher he was, you know, and, and that he really, you know, he really was thinking about people and, and, you know, kids themselves when he was doing these letters because to get, to keep them that long and, you know, and to get them all out, you know. He does this year after year diligently. To think that somebody has that much commitment to keep the momentum of this going for decades, that's a, that's a pretty unique person right there. Today, when everybody is so busy, so often people are just worried about, you know, what's in it for me? What does he get out of storing all these letters and trying to track people down? And like, not everybody stays close by. That's a lot of work. I don't know, I haven't asked him how many hours it would take him but I, I gotta assume we're a couple weeks every year just to get those all organized. For me, there's a lot of detective work. The kids are going every which way. And this excites me. generations ago when letters were carefully written, this was the only way that we could have that person in our home. The letter almost represents part of that person who is sending it, because as we opened that letter, there was that person there. I think I was just so excited to read the letter and a little bit leery about how um, vapid I would have been at that age that I wasn't really fully prepared for um, a reading about my grandmother or my aunt who passed away. I wasn't quite expecting that emotional roller coaster. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a shock. Like, oh yeah, I did think that way. I think the world will become more of a computerized world with computerized cars and ships and computerized robots. And then all of a sudden, we are reminded of some of the hopes that we did have when we were younger. Someday I would like to go and visit the world. The place I would love to go the most is England and see the Thames River, the giant clock called Big Ben in Buckingham Palace. Little did Darren know that a couple of years after this letter, he did get to go to England. As a parent, if I think back to what was in my letter, that will help me appreciate where she is. In 20 years, I hope to be living in California on the beach with a good tan and one hunk of a good man. That's so weird. It's a great night break, okay? <laughs> It's all just kind of looking back at these memories and just kind of having this opportunity to digest them. It's like this little gift of somebody that I've forgotten years ago. There's not too many people that would ever think to do something like this. And it, you know, that's something that we're all gonna have for the rest of our lives. It's like opening your first Christmas present again. Like it's not a letter, it's a keepsake because you can't get rid of something like that. He was one of those teachers that you never thought of him as the cool teacher or the, the one that you talked about very much. 
and now you look at him in a different perspective because he's done something like this for you. How many teachers can say they've done that for so many students? Contributed to their life or to, you know, giving back something? I really hope that that happens. I hope that other teachers take this idea and roll with it because it's phenomenal. I can't tell you how special it is to me to be able to go back and read something that I wrote to myself when I was that age. And if he could only see, you know, what these things meant to us years down the road, you know, the profound experience that is reading a letter from yourself as a child, I think that he should, you know, pat himself on the back. The uh, amount of interest that has uh, been generated over this assignment is just, I had no idea that anything would ever end up like, like this. I don't think, I, I know I'm not an outstanding teacher. I'm just a regular teacher who happened to assign a rather different assignment.